welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am said psychic medium, Tony Green. Green! I can't even say my own last name now. Oh, my goodness, you guys. You guys, it's December, and I live in a state where it gets cold and snowy. Does, would, I have an idea, though, that would... Would anybody like to adopt me for the winters? <laughs> you must live in a warm state. That's all I'm saying. Just adopt me for the winter. I mean, I'm pretty easy to care for. Not easy to maintain, but I'm easy to care for. <laughs> hey, Fawn. Hey, Heather. Um, so on YouTube, we already have some amazing people with us. I love you guys so much. We have Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Um, and then we have Raphael, Brazilian Poppy. And Raphael, there are a lot of people in the chat that have questions for you. You may answer their chat questions if you're comfortable with that. <laughs> we have Heather and Fawn. I'm Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Shonda. Hi, Shonda. Welcome to the show. Okay, you guys, if you want to chat amongst each other in the chat, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to join us live, it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. For those in the chat, thank you so much for participating. If you are watching live on YouTube, please say hi. Join the chat. Um, it's actually a lot of fun, especially um, for, for those who are around all the time and are familiar familiar with each other it's it's a great time and I love going back and reading the chat once I start taking calls it's a little bit difficult to keep up with the chat and the callers but hey we try to make it work and I have the greatest people in the world so they're always super duper patient during um the calls and the chat um if you are watching live on YouTube, thank you. You can post a question in the chat and I will try to get to it. If you want to call in live on Monday or Wednesday at noon central or after, the number is 845-277-9131. And yes, I do need to close my eyes to remember the number. <laughs> Do you remember for some of us who are not like 20, how did we remember all those numbers? Patrick, you know what I'm talking about. Like we used to have our top 10 phone numbers that we had to have memorized. There wasn't a, a name and a button you pushed that remembered it for you. <laughs> what, what does our brain do now? Right? Yes, Patrick, absolutely. Um, I want to thank Rude Rangers and WSCS. You guys, I went to the WSCS site the other day and thank you, WSCS, because people on WSCS online, they are like one of my videos or one of my shows, I should say, the numbers are stacking up over there. I was like, oh, look at that. I was a little surprised, but then I looked at another show and not so much. <laughs> it didn't stack up so much. So yes, yes, it was a good thing though. For a minute, I was like, oh my, the show's catching on. And then I looked at the next show that had like two views and I was like, oh, uh, maybe it's just this particular show. It's good. It's all good. And um, Rude Rangers. Now, Rude Rangers TV streams my shows on podcasts and streaming channels like Roku and Apple and such. And um, thank you, Rudy, so much for all the work you and your team put in on that. And uh, WSCS airs my show live on WSCS and then also on um Oh, yes. On uh, radio stations and podcasts, so I'm I'm on almost every podcast. I do believe I'm on every podcast, almost the ones I know about, and the ones you know WSCS and Rude Rangers know about. Yeah, 
Okay. So just for those of you who are not aware, um, a couple weeks ago, I had a, uh, a concussion, still recovering a little bit from that. So if my words are backwards, if I, I stall out for a moment, don't worry. It's it's like that's all. It's all coming back to me now. Why do I? <laughs> when you touch me, you like this. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be one of those shows, folks. 18 and over, please. I can tell already this is an adult content show. And I touch you like that. <laughs> it's like I'm drunk with no alcohol. Huh. <laughs> I don't know what comes after when I touch you like this and you touch me. Well, I personally know what comes after when I touch you like this and you touch it, but I can't remember what comes next in the show, in the song, the song. Come on, brain. If I tap it enough, will it work appropriately? Oh my gosh. I hope you guys seriously laugh at my content, at my attempt at I, I'm not even trying to be funny shit stuff stuff just comes out of my mouth and yeah I'm like this in real life it's difficult at fancy restaurants I think <laughs> I'm not even gonna go down that road there was a whole nother comedy thing after that that I am not going down oh Okay. Oh, I have to keep reminding me. People are not here because I'm a comedian. People are here because they want to talk to their loved ones on the other side. And guess what? We're going to get to that now. So if you have a question, post your, hey, Jennifer, post your question. If you, uh, or call in 845-277-9131. And if you'd like to connect with a loved one, I'm happy to help you connect with a loved one. I just need their first name and their relationship to you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, when I say your area code, please let me know where you're calling from. Um, where you're calling from. The rest will fall into place. Most of you know how this works. I can't remember. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's not so funny. Oh, my God. Okay. Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. Um, okay. So here we go. So I'm going to, there was one question on the chat. Uh, Nancy Ramsey. Let's see. She responded down here. Please answer on air. Thank you. Nancy wants to know. Uh, Nancy from Oregon. Do you see me finding a love companion in the future? Thank you. Yes, Nancy. I do. Um, okay. Nancy, I actually think you have a grandmother here or a mother. I'm not sure. Uh, she was thinner, uh, more petite and thinner in, near the end. And her hair, she kept her, uh, uh, I see her hair being a little bit more gray and a little, a little, you know, not so, mm, a little more, mm, not so. Mm. And for those of you not uh, watching, a little, uh, um, like a cur curvy in her back, not not shoulders back. Okay. And Nancy, I hear March, April. Um, there's the potential for somebody to come in in March, April. Now, the person who's going to come in in March, April is someone that you... Is, is it really? You may know this person. Or you may have known this person in the past. Ah, uh, 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 uh. don't you dare yell at me about who's coming to you. I am not sending them. No. And don't say you don't want somebody from the past because it doesn't mean it's the guy who did you dirty or the woman who did you dirty. This could be somebody that you met 
you know, like a year ago. And at the time they might've been involved with someone. So nothing ever uh, moved forward or somebody that, you know, um, that you, you know, maybe you dated them in college. I don't know from when in your past they are. Okay. Um, or it could be even be a, a past life, but I don't know. So let's just stick with, um, uh let's just stick with you know this person and it doesn't just because you know this person it doesn't mean you necessarily have already dated this person and gone through the trenches with them now am i a big fan of taking someone back it depends some people want their ex back or the past person back and some people do not and it depends on what happened did you do them dirty? Did they do you dirty? Or did it just not work out because of timing? I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, I do say if you are going with someone from the past that you dated, you really need to make sure that whatever dissolved the relationship has been resolved and that you can move forward in a healthy, happy way without... <clears throat> without um, without repeating the past. You need to have those really good conversations first. But March, April, somebody that you know, there's the potential, Nancy, Nancy Ramsey from Oregon. I hope you don't mind me saying your last name. Um, there's the potential for you to start something with somebody that you already know, somebody who has been in your life previously. Maybe this person had to relocate. Maybe it's somebody who travels for business. Ooh, maybe it's a pilot and you can fly all over the I, I don't think it's a pilot. I'm just saying I'm joking. Um, I'm seriously joking. I'm sorry. Um, whomever this person is, it's somebody that you already know or have known. And I do feel like it's a really good fit. I don't feel like you're going to be like, when this person shows up, I don't feel like you're going to be like, ah, not you again. Because you wouldn't take them back then, right? Or date them, right? And, and somebody from your past doesn't necessarily, again, mean somebody you've already dated. It could be somebody that you know that it just never took off. Okay, that's what I have for you. Um, she says, and Nancy says, all of the past men that I dated have passed away. <laughs> oh, Nancy, you just opened me up for a whole, a whole, I mean, a whole box of, of little, um, jokes, which I am not going to tell because it would be so inappropriate. Um, I'm sorry, Nancy, that, uh, that, that. I, here's what I'm gonna say. Um, they have passed away, and I, 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 I apologize. You're not a black widow, are you? And that is the only joke I'm. I'm gonna try to let that be the only joke I tell on that, Nancy. Um, actually, it does. Again, it doesn't have to be somebody that you literally dated in the past. It could be somebody you know. Or it could be somebody that is um, an acquaintance. Um, it could be a friend of a family member that you are um, like aware of or have met. Uh, um, I can't think of the word, but but it's okay. It's okay, Nancy. Uh, don't worry. March, April, somebody is coming in. And... Um, if you do date Nancy, I would say stay with her because those who don't, they don't fare well. I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Nancy. I had to. If you know anything about my show, I, I like try to make everything a little lighthearted and make people laugh because there's enough out there making us cry. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I am going to go to the first caller who is 917. 917, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hey, Tony, this is Bryn. 
I'm from uh, actually I'm in Encinitas, California at the moment. Bryn, Bryn, how are you? I'm good, Bryn. It's been a minute. Uh, it's been a minute. How have you been? I'm I'm okay. Hanging in there. It's been kind of a rough year. I just wanted to see if there's any. Uh, sort of thing I need to hear from my spirit guides or a dear departed loved one or whether any good message of hope or, or something coming. <laughs> okay. So Bryn, I feel like for you, um, the first thing I hear is, um, give me a second here. Um, so Bryn, there is going to be some I can't say the word. I, I think the I don't understand this message, but again, the message isn't for me. So I'm personally, I'm not supposed to understand it, but I'm just going to tell you the words I'm hearing. And hopefully in some way they will make sense to you. So I think the word I'm supposed to say is, Oscillating. Right? Oscillating. Oh, interesting. Oscillating. Yeah. So there are some changes coming in. And I don't, I, again, it's like they're using this word, like everything is, everything is, um, everything is spinning or going around. Everything is going around. But it's not going to go around the same way that it went around before. Like, excuse me. Okay. Before it went around in the in a circle, it, everything was going around like a cycle or a pattern or a pattern. And then now it's a new cycle, a new turn of events, a new okay. thing is coming in. Okay. So over the next six months to a year, you're going to have a lot of new activities and experiences coming in. And over the next six months to the year, you're, and, and again, this is free okay. will. Everybody, listen, when I give messages, you can take these messages and you can run with them. And when the opportunities come in, you jump on them and you ride them like a wild horse. Okay. Or... You can sit on your couch and eat bonbons watching repeats of TV shows. It's up to you. I am not the boss of you. I am not even the boss of my own bladder. So don't tell me like, oh, it didn't happen. Well, did you get up? Did you get out when the invitations came? Did you take them? Or did you sit on your couch and eat pizza? I mean, I'm just saying. So what I want to say to you is there are a lot of opportunities coming in and you are going to have to make those choices to say yes when you get the chance. I feel like there's going mm -hmm. to be a little bit more money coming in over the next six weeks or six months because I get the number that is not six. I get the number six. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. I Over the next six weeks or six months, you're going to, or maybe from six weeks to six months, you're going to be having more money coming in. I feel like you're going to pick up on something that's going to help you move um, move forward in a in a more productive way. Whatever you're going to do for the next six months is going to kind of set you up for a very long time. So make sure that over the next six months, you are being um, very invested in whatever it is you're doing next be smart with your money moves but okay. if you make the money moves you will make the money oh i hope that helps bren i really yeah, hope thank you no oh. that's that's a lot a lot of hope for me because it's been kind of difficult and uh, yeah the word oscillating does i feel things are oscillating and the uh, at this time, it's sort of coming in and going out, but I think it's going to get on a track, like you said, at some point soon, where uh, 
I guess more clarity and more um, opportunity, you know. So yes, yeah, and uh, you know, I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the one thing I'm getting, and again, this is a choice, and I'm not going to tell you, you, you know, like I said, I I can't even boss myself around whatever. Um, there is the going to be the opportunity for relocation. Now, whether this means relocating from uh -huh. where you live to a new neighborhood, a new city, a new state, province, or country um, is up to you. I do, however, feel like this relocation might have something to do with the money and or work. Now, Again, everything okay. is a choice. Am I going to accept this or am I going to reject it? Is this because I feel like whatever this is that comes in, it's a it might seem like a lot at first, okay? Right. Okay. Excellent, Bren. Okay. I, yeah. yeah, okay. Thank you, Tony. Good you're talking so with you again. You're so welcome, and I love that you called in today. Thank you so much. It's been it's been a long minute since we've been able to chat, and I'm so happy. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. So thank you yeah. for touching base. And if I don't get to talk to you beforehand, yeah. happy holidays. Same to you, and many more. And have a great New Year out for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you, Bryn. Um, okay, I am going to go to dun 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 seven eight zero, and Fawn, I'll get to you next. Let's go to seven eight zero. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony G, caller from Canada. It's great to hear that you're getting better. You sound a lot more livelier. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, yes. How can I help you, Jay? Hey, I just wondered um, about a, I haven't talked to you for a bit, but a, two weeks ago I talked about a job that I lost. Not lost, but it's been for a little bit, I guess they call it that. And um, what happened is that uh, they gave me a severance pay, but I'm looking for a job right now. So I just wondered any advice from my mother from above or anybody who's this coming forward to uh, give me advice on what to do now, maybe uh, wait till January, but um, I guess I have to keep on pressing, so. Okay, so the weird thing, and I don't know, I'm just gonna say what I hear, stay put for now, something's gonna come in um, right around um, February, Jan end of January, February, something's gonna come in, but until then, um, don't like don't get distressed if 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 things aren't popping or if they're not opening up. I don't know if that makes sense to you the way they're saying it. Um, but at, near the end of January, beginning of February, something's going to come in. It's going to be um, good. I, I actually hear. Um, better than it ever was. And I hear same, same, same. I don't know if that means the same company, the same type of work, or the, the same, <clears throat> something is going to be the same about the new, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry, folks, about the new position coming in, something is going to be the same. So um, st like study the course. Um, and don't panic if you don't get uh, 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 an offer prior to then. Does that make sense to you? Oh yes, it does. It does for sure. It's probably it's it's the same type of job. It's just a different type of company. So it's a lot more what I'm in for. I applied for a manager position as a supervisor, but uh, I was in top three after you know I think we had about twenty four people, which is actually pretty good. Um, I get my best shot, so but I didn't receive the job. Someone else got it, but I think it was rigged. But that's what I'm thinking. Well, but uh, a lot of it came from. <laughs> a lot of those things are, and the biggest thing I'm hearing is, uh, don't like, um, don't panic, stay put. It's coming. It, it the, the the timeline, 
Now, I'm going to say keep applying because the, the end of January, beginning of February, I don't know if that's when the job is coming out or if that's the start time. So in between now and then, you may be interviewing and actually starting end of January, beginning of February, or they're going to, this job is going to present end of January, beginning of February. I do see February 15th um, being... They are highlighting February 15th. So maybe that's the start date. But again, I'm not I'm not sure about that. But some some hiring processes can take a bit of time. So make sure that you're still looking and um and actively, you know, uh, uh, um doing that thing that people do when they want a job, you know, uh filling out uh, yes, that. Anyway, um, so so just make sure you're doing that and everything will fall into place. Um, and I, I, by, uh, I feel like, again, end of January, uh, beginning of February, you should have much better feeling about everything. Okay, Jay? And no problem. Yeah, I'll take, take a look and... Uh... And February 24th is my last day on the job, but I guess severance pay, so it may come in the line that yeah. the workout timing would be just perfect. Yeah. And that might be, and again, I hear, you know, I always, I always believe everything is happening for us and not to us. So if you're supposed to, and, and I'm just going to throw this out there as a, for example, if you're supposed to, um, Let's just say, for example, you're supposed to collect all of your severance pay. Then maybe the position does come in on, a, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're interviewing and then on February 15th is the date they let you know you got the job and then uh, you don't start until the severance pay is done. Everything happens in an alignment and in perfect timing. And this time that you have, don't stress just know something is coming in and it will be there for you. Now, I am going to say, even though I believe everything happens for us, when I'm going through something, I am like the most, um, like asking a million and one questions of um, the spirit and angels and um, and wanting to know right away how everything's going to play out. And they they basically laugh at me, just so you guys know. I don't get that preferential. You can talk to us. We're going to give you all the wisdom in the world treatment. I get that. No, you get to suffer just like everybody else. Chica treatment. <laughs> so yes, there's that. Um, anyway, having said that, Jay, just relax. Um, send things out. Uh, be a bit uh, picky about, um, not picky, picky, but you know, you have the ability to not be desperate, so you can choose something or look at positions that are in alignment with what you really want, okay? Okay. Excellent, Jay. Grateful for the message, maybe. Uh, yes. Thank you, Well, so I don't want to hear from you. I have a grateful day and a grateful uh, holiday season. Oh, my goodness, you too. And thank you so much for calling in today. I'm so happy we got to, uh, we we were able to speak with you also. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you so stinking much. I hope you have an absolutely amazing seconds. week. And I look forward to, to seeing you guys on Wednesday. Thank you so much and have a great day.